man, I am dropping the ball all over the place here. First in the video transition, and I failed to mute. But anyhow, welcome <laughs> back to another Walton's review of the deed. There, and with me, it looks like I got Resolute German and Mikey Seuss Four. How are you guys doing? We're doing Not awesome, brother. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, did you guys get a chance to watch the episode? Yeah. Yeah, uh, actually, actually, for mine. Uh, I went to Judy Norton's channel, and she did a great synopsis of the episode. So now I've got, like, lots of tidbits and information that I didn't know before about the episode. Okay, good. You can share it with us, because I just only watched it there. So, all righty. So, let's go ahead and share this. Okay. And due to uh, someone outside... So uh, anyhow, since uh, Warner Bros. is a bunch of assholes there, and because fuck them, <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with the prologue there. Uh, there, I'll have to read it out because they don't like people people reading it here. Um, Walton's hey, mom. Oh no, that? I was gonna say, can I hum the uh, theme song? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't done it yet. <laughs> oh, okay, let me go. I can't get that high part. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Good job there. All right. We'll start with our prologue here like we normally do. Okay. Walton's Mountain had been in our family since long before I was born. It was a mountain that gave of itself. We took trout from its swift streams, and we took from it constantly the lumber and firewood which provided our family with income. My grandfather used to say that the land was alive, that if you knew how to listen, you could hear its voice. But at 17, I did more talking than listening. I remember one morning during the Depression, hiking with Grandpa, searching for trees that were ready for harvesting. Oh, I cannot do justice how John Boy does that, or how they read off the that there. But like this show has the best like intros there with those uh, little like diary entries. Yes, I, I totally agree. Yeah, he does a great job with that. Richard yeah. Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. And it was directed by Vincent Sherman and uh, written, writer, written by James Men, Men, Menzies. Menzies? Yes. All right. Now, here's uh, one of those little tidbits I was going to tell you about. The director of this episode, okay, had a daughter named Jill Sherman. Now, the actor who plays, you'll find out later, Yancey Turner, his name is Robert Donner. And Robert Donner, in 1982, after he was dating one of the other actresses in this episode, or married, was actually married to one of the other actresses in this episode, Sissy Wallman, divorced her and went ahead and married Jill Sherman, who was the daughter of the director of this episode. And then he became, uh, since he was Robert Donner, the actor, he made Jill, Jill Donner, and they were married all the way until 2006, when he finally passed away, Robert Donner. So, here's to you, Robert. And no, he's not related to the uh, director, Richard Donner, who did Superman later on. So, in case you ask that. All right. All right, that's some cool info there. So, yeah, we got... Thank you. Uh, so, they're here. You're uh, going to find trees to cut down down there. You know, Walt, uh, Jabba makes a cut go... Can't, we just surpassed a few good trees by the pond there. There, why can't we cut them down? And Grandpa was pretty much like, you know, take a couple, you leave a couple, or you take some and you replant some, you know. You don't want to make the forest too thin, you know. You got to space it out, you know, which well, lumber companies should have learned that lesson a long time ago. Not Now, hey, are Germany required in Washington if they cut a tree down, they got to plant like five of them or something like that? Something like that. Yeah, which but that, the EPA. No, sorry, which is, 
uh, which that is the smart thing to do. You know, replant what you're, so you can continue harvesting. You can only cut down so many trees if you don't replant them. And it was sure. literally something most logging companies did before the federal government said anything about it. I guess that one or two assholes made it, required it to be a regulation. No, some hippie beatniks said, oh, they're not replanting the forest when they didn't realize that the damn trees don't grow overnight. Oh, fuck. So basically, yeah, they just saw a huge clear cut from a highway. They couldn't see the saplings from that far away, and neither could the senators when they got the pictures from three, four hundred feet away. There's a six inch saplings all across that field. Yeah. Yet yeah. no one knew it. So basically, yeah. members of Chaz seen a clear cut. Or didn't you ever see that picture of them trying to grow food? Oh, yeah, that's uh, I saw that in person. Oh, you got to see that, that in was, person? That was you know, you could have you could have easily had a that's good the fun. lowest I've thought about the human race. Hey, wow, you hey, if you if you see that in person, do you know how, how, how many views you could have gotten on the short with that? <laughs> yeah, you could have you could have really uh made some stink about it for sure. Oh no, no, a short just going. Oh, this is how stupid people are. And then just hashtag it Chaz Zone, and people will watch that. But yeah, Man, but there's people, enough people doing that. Well, well, don't uh, forget, guys. Don't forget that during the time that this was going on, the New Deal, you know, with Franklin Delano Roosevelt, so and so forth, uh, the logging companies actually didn't have any policies in place. This is something else I learned about too. Uh, they didn't have any policies in place in regards to where trees were, where th where they were planted, where they were all over. They didn't even care. They just went on the private, what they thought was public land. But then in this case, what Grandpa says is, oh, no, this, this is our land. We've had it for centuries. And, you know, they didn't care. There was no boundaries. They just went out there and said, hey, I'm going to put a logging road through here. Or, hey, I'm going to cut down all your trees, you know, to help the... Uh, effort of the united states you know the conservation until the conservation court said something there was nothing that was going on that would stop them you know short of saying hey this is my land and i have a deed so that's pretty much it yeah most of the time that they used eminent domain because logging companies were pals with senators and congressmen absolutely bad times then <laughs> Talk about your supporters. Wow. And I've been down logging roads before, and they don't do a great job. Believe me. I, I drove some in Colorado when I lived there for a couple of months. A lot of those are yeah. pretty old and very, haven't very. been actually used in decades. Arizona have, has a, Yeah, Arizona has a few of them too, Resolute. You know yeah. that? You remember that story about Walton, the guy, Travis Walton, the guy that got kidnapped by a UFO up in 1975 up near Sholo. Uh, we drove up near that area and the logging roads, yeah, they're, they've been there for over 50, 60 years. And they're just old roads, you know, people just don't consider them that they go anywhere. So, yeah. yeah. Well, they don't go anywhere anymore because the logging, the logging in that area was abandoned decades ago. We got yes. places up here that uh, it's all overgrowth now, and those they have roads leading up past farms and ranches and whatnot. Right. Literally, they haven't been a logging company there in a hundred years, but yeah, they're still a lot of on the maps, and people are still bitching. Oh, these are cutting through natural growth, old growth <laughs> forests. Yo. But and you the know hippies want to go after the goddamn logging company that hasn't existed since 1970. <laughs> You're right. See, but uh, the problem, too, is, is that uh, they're not, you know, the National Park Service has a reason why they want to protect so much land. Sorry about that, gorillas. Are you okay? Internet can crash. Well, I hope he gets yeah. back. Um, anyway, like I said, the National Park Service, okay, 
uh, a lot of those old logging roads, they actually were they would what the uh, Forest Service wants to do, you know, with with uh, fire fires and so forth, they want to use them as those ditches, you know, the trench, uh, you know, the stop fires. The fire they have wildfires up there. Yes, fire yeah. traps, fire pits, that sort of thing. So that's what a at, lot of those at the turn of the last century. That's yeah, that's what they are originally built as the half fire half access for the logging trucks. Absolutely, half yes. fire break. Yes. But somewhere in the middle of the 20th century, everyone forgot about that, and then they <laughs> started passing these regulations about stuff they di didn't really know about. Yeah. And now you can't put a fire break. No, no. No, you can't. Especially if it's on someone's property. You have to actually get permission. And then, of course, after you get permission, then you also have to consult with the, the yeah. local fire department that's in that town in that area, and you have to yeah. say, "Okay, we want to put a fire break and on your here." You property. have to get permission from the state as well. Exactly. Yeah, you're right. And the state says, "Oh no, that uh, we can't do that." Oh yeah, that's when I was away. That harms and I said, the environment. Yes. Yeah, that was when I was like a little delayed, but I knew I would make it back here just in time. Hello, gorillas. Welcome back. Hey there. Uh, yeah, I'm re after re reboot the entire computer, so I'll have the show back shortly. No problem. I'll continue railing against local and state governments and their lack of knowledge about logging in any way, shape, or form. Because yeah. unfortunately, this episode was very lackluster on that point. Absolutely. But they had a good point, though. They said that they could actually be on the land. And the thing was, Grandpa did say, well, we, I, I don't remember having a deed. You know, and those were supposed to come out in the late 1880s, you know, for his land. So, you know, eminent domain actually did kind of apply to the logging company. It was just a good thing that, well, I'm not going to say anymore because otherwise I'd spoil the rest of the episode. But, yeah. Hey, you, I you, guess what happened. you can say it. Really? Yeah. I don't want to spoil it. Okay. It's well, a spoiler review. Right. Well, Says it's 40 as, years old. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's over 50. This episode came out in 1973 when I was eight years old. So, yeah, this thing is 50 years old. This episode. So it's older okay. than either me or Gorilla. <laughs> Remember, I'm turning 58 this year, fellas. <laughs> I'm old. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, anyway, uh, what, what basically has to happen is Grandpa and the family have to raise $200, which was a lot of money back then in the Depression era. It was almost impossible to get that much together. And they all had to say, well... You know, John Boy says, well, I'll get a job. And Mary Ellen says, well, I'll sell this special teapot that she found that she thought was a relic or something. Yeah, and cool, uh, cool. found. Got found, right. And, uh, you know, and so the other family members are all trying to think of ways to raise this money. And basically they said, well, you know, they did what they had to do, okay? And basically they were able to raise the money and get the deed. But there was a lot of misadventures before that happened. And poor John Boy, man, he got into a fight. A couple of them, and he got robbed. That's not good. <laughs> that tends to happen in the big city. Especially to a farm boy you don't know any better. Yeah, he don't know anything. <laughs> he, he ain't nothing. He, know, he don't know anything. <laughs> Yeah, but like I said, uh, it's interesting, though, when I quoted the tidbit earlier, I, I just found out about, uh, is that the actress, the sissy Walman actress, that she actually got married to this guy, Ro uh, Robert Donner. And then, of course, you know, uh, they were only married for a short time, to, like I said, to about 1982. And then he meets Jill Sherman, who ironically, like I said, was the daughter of the actual 
director of the episode, Vincent Sherman. So I was like, wow, okay. I didn't know where that came from. He must have uh, been attracted to them in some in some way. He must have. Yeah. Well, yeah, a short skirt is going to be an attraction. Yes, that has to be. Are you still doing okay there, uh, Gorilla? Yeah, I just got just putting it. I'm just getting through my pin screen. Okay, take your time. There isn't a whole lot of people that I can see in the chat right now. We're doing no, we're the Friday. only ones right now. Yeah, uh, we're going up against Friday Night Frolic. So, oh, sorry. Yeah, this is hey, more I'm glad the, to be uh, break I'm, show. I'm, yeah, <laughs> that's okay. I'm glad to be with you guys. You guys are cool. I don't mind being here at all. Yeah. I don't mind. If people want to go to Doomcox, let them. They, they can always watch mine on the rewatch. It's kind of hard to rewatch an eight-hour show. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 hard for me to uh, uh, follow Quantum Leap. There were a lot of cool episodes, but I have to admit I never saw the entire series, so it'd be hard for me to really relate to it. However, though, I do miss I do miss Dean Stockwell as Al. So. Um, rest in peace, Dean. You don't really need to watch the whole series. Matter of fact, you can skip skip season five, except for the final episode. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, no. The skip final what? episode was great. <laughs> Quantum, Quantum leap. Quantum leap. Oh yeah. Skip, watch skip the series finale out of season, five. season five, and then the yeah. rest of it just don't bother. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I mean, watch watch just certain episodes from the first four seasons, though. Just yeah. certain ones. Yeah. Ones that have guest stars in it. Those are actually the better ones. Believe it or not. But yeah, forget season five except for the series of finale. Yeah, which is very good. But then, of course, they left the cliffhanger with it, too. So it could have been a Quantum Leap movie. At the end of that series finale, they could have left that open. At least that's what I thought they did. Well, it was pretty open ended. It was. They they couldn't have left a more open ended uh, ending to uh, freaking uh, end of the fucking world as they did. Yeah, they did, didn't they? Well, I think they ran into COVID with that one. I think you're maybe. Right. Yeah. Wasn't now during COVID, wasn't there a writer's strike again? Was there? During the couple It of was years? more of a government lockout. Government lockout, okay. That's why a lot of the movies didn't get made. A lot of movies. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I was pissed about was with all the delays that was going on with COVID and the government lockdown, I was trying to, you know, my wife and I were trying to wait for uh, No Time to Die to come out because that was going to be her cousin, Daniel Craig. That's her cousin, real life. Uh, that was just going to be his last Bond film. And it had so many delays in it of when it was going to start. I was like, wow. you know, I couldn't believe it myself. But I was glad to finally wait until it came out. All right, I'm just about back up and up here. Okay. Let's see. Uh, well, at least I, at least you guys were there to keep keep them entertained while uh, my computer crashed. Yeah, we had a very interesting discussion. So if some people actually decide to uh, uh, download, which I always encourage every, anyone, if you're very interested in a lot of different things, the topics, make sure you hit the like, subscribe to the person's channel, and make sure you save, save the stream, because it's very important. And sometimes it'll make you laugh, like the Spaceballs thing. Did you know 
I didn't even hit the like on that one. And I thought, oh, geez, I thought I did. But I didn't. So then I finally did. And then I saved it. We were laughing on storm. I couldn't believe it. And LDG and 